Hello, and thanks for watching another edition of ARFCOM News. Today I want to tell you more about the battle to pass Wild West pimp carry in the PA and Texas, some New York cops who were scared of a t-shirt launcher, and the U.S. Army's new sniper rifle. But before we get started, I want to tell you about the fine mahogany night vision products offered to you by our friends at TNVC.com. Artfully handcrafted by earnest, hardworking Amish operators, TNVC Night Vision is unique and uncompromising, just like you. If you like seeing stuff more than not seeing stuff, take a look at our sponsor, TNVC.com, your source for quality night vision gear to make you the bump in the night. I hope I'm not starting to sound like a broken record on this constitutional carry stuff. But new things keep happening which I think you deserve to know about. The way I see it, the battle for permitless carry at the state level is the most important thing going on in the gun rights world right now. There are currently 20 states which recognize the fundamental human right to be armed without first seeking the pleasure of the crown, and there are eight states with constitutional carry bills pending at some stage in the process. Pennsylvania is the most recent state to introduce a constitutional carry bill with Senator Chris Dush filing SB 565 last Friday. SB 565 has been referred to the Senate Judiciary Committee and the committee chair, Senator Lisa Baker, has yet to sign on as a co-sponsor. Whether or not you live in Pennsylvania, if you care about the natural rights of man, if you believe in the right of the people to be armed, I want you all to pause this video right now and call Senator Baker at 717-787-7428. Tell her carrying a gun is a human right and 20 other states have permitless carry already without any problems as a result. Remind her her term is up next year and inform her you will campaign for her opposition in the primary if she does not sign on as a co-sponsor and pass this bill to the floor for a vote right away. Let's all put our weight together and get SB 565 passed. The fight for constitutional carry is heating up in Texas after passing the House, but Representative Ann Johnson had some astoundingly racist comments before the vote. That 21-year-old pimp, that 21-year-old pimp, that 21-year-old trafficker who is not yet a convicted felon, roll on in to any place you want and buy a gun under this provision and walk around in whatever way you want. No training, no understanding, Wild West pimp style. Damn, Karen, that's just a shockingly racist. But thank you for reminding us all of the racist origins of gun control. Remember, the primary reason control freaks favor these policies is they wish to make it as difficult as possible for undesirables to exercise their rights. Fees, permits, paperwork, and red tape are easier to navigate the more privileged you are. This Karen just admitted she wants to deny people their right to be armed even though they have never been convicted of a crime. See, to her, we are all it's not yet a convicted felon. But I really do get the feeling she's especially worried about anyone less white than her security detail. She probably just doesn't understand a pimp's love is very different from that of a square. What's really frightening is Representative Johnson was a prosecutor before getting elected to represent District 134 in the Texas House. I have to wonder how her racist attitude was applied in that position. It is not at all uncommon for innocent men to take a plea rather than risk prison, and hearing this woman talk, it sounds as though she's inclined to assume guilt. Irrespective of her prejudices, out here in Phoenix, the real Wild West, that's two Ds for a double dose of pimping, by the way, our pimp style is strong and has been for years. Permitless carry hasn't resulted in any increase in crime here or in any of the other 19 states where free people don't have to beg permission to exercise their rights. HB 1238 has already passed the House, but if you'd like to tell Representative Johnson how trashy you think her racist rant was, you can call her at 512-463-0389. 
Johnson wasn't the only opposition, though, and earlier this week I reported on three LTC instructors who unabashedly spoke publicly for their own selfish interests against the right of the people to keep and bear arms. At the same time, the control freak group Texas Gun Sense published a letter opposing permitless carry, which was ostensibly signed by more than 50 other LTC instructors. But when John Crump with MLand.com attempted to contact them, he found many had no idea their name was on the letter and they said they fully support constitutional carry. Many are publicly outspoken in support of HB 1238 and there is no reason to expect they are being duplicitous. It appears Texas Gun Sense board member Raul Camacho emailed every single LTC instructor in the state and if he received any reply from them at all, he just went ahead and added them to his letter so he could pump those numbers up. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure some of the names on the list really are greedy quizlings who put personal profit before constitutional principles, but there's no way to know for certain how many people on the list are actually opposed to HB 1238 and which of them were deceitfully added by Camacho. There really is no telling how far this guy would go to protect his pocketbook, but he couldn't stop HB 1238 in the House, and the next step is to get it passed in the Senate. Texas Lieutenant Governor Patrick says he won't bring the bill to the floor if they don't have the votes to get it passed. So no matter where you live, please pause the video right now and go to senate.texas.gov and pick a politicritter to call. Tell them Texas is one of the last Western states to recognize the natural right of the people to keep and bear arms. Urge them to vote for HB 1238 and let them know if they don't support it, you will campaign for their opponent in the next primary. Then lather, rinse, and repeat. Call as many senators as you have the stomach for. Let's put the pressure on them. If you've ever wondered how scared New York cops are of the people they police, here's your answer. New York City police officers confiscated a scary looking t-shirt launcher from hip-hop artist Warchild and issued him a ticket for possession of an air gun. I guess, technically, a t-shirt launcher is an air gun, and I believe those cops were legitimately terrified at the sight of something which kinda sorta looked like a Barrett M82A1, but not even the most window lickingest moron could confuse this device with any form of weapon. And if those police officers had the slightest bit of integrity or concern for their oath to protect the Constitution, they wouldn't be trying to confiscate arms from the people anyway. Gundustry News! Big Green loves some new toys and the U.S. Army just awarded Barrett a contract for a new multi-caliber sniper rifle. The Mark 22 will ironically not be chambered in the Deuce Deuce, but will be quickly convertible from 7.62 NATO to 300 Norma Mag and 338 Norma Mag. And it will be paired with a loophole Mark V HD 5 to 25 by 56 millimeter rifle scope. The new rifle will replace both the M107 and M2010 by offering the ability to quickly change barrel and caliber in the field to meet mission requirements. The Army statement predictably included the word overmatch. If y'all want a fun drinking game that just might get your stomach pumped, read any Army press release out loud to your buddies and take a shot every time you hear overmatch, warfighter, adaptive, or battle space. The initial contract is for 536 rifles with an additional 1,516 to be purchased over the next four years at a total cost of about $45.5 million. The first Mark 22s should be fielded sometime in the fourth quarter of this fiscal year. Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoy watching these things because I sure like making them for you. You guys are always asking me where I find my fly shirts, so this time I put a link to my shirt down there in the doobly-doo, but if you want to try your luck and see if you can win this rad shirt, post a comment containing the phrase, the light that burns twice as bright burns half as long in the YouTube comments, and I will arbitrarily and unilaterally choose the best one. If you want to help us keep bringing you banger content like this, please support the folks who support us.
Not only does TNVC.com give you night vision with that cool, refreshing, never bitter taste that goes down smooth, they also have mounts, lights, and all sorts of other gear to make you the bump in the night. I love you.